That's Nick, fucking me. Oh, darling. Liam. Oh. Come here. Oh, I'm so glad you're back here, mate. Oh, oh, good to see it's you. So and this side. Oh, that is. Mm. Oh, 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 sorry. That is a lot. Oh, God. I'm you, so excited to be here. Oh, it's great to have you. Oh. Hi. Ah, um, yes, you. The bag up into the room ASAP, is... if you could. And I need water. God damn it. I am parched. Bubbly. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Mel, the director. Yeah. Oh, the director? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, I thought the director would have been a man. Oh, that's. I get that. Anyway, I, get that I am tired. Long trip on the way in. I'm going to go have a nap. Catch you on the flip side, yeah? Okay. Uh, do you want to. Where's he going? You know, I don't know. Does he know? No. Yeah. Direct from the home of mullets, coal, and 50 year old surfers named Wayne, it's in Newcastle tonight. <laughs> It's Tuesday night, 7pm, and that can only mean two things. Jimmy Fallon is still the king of late night TV, and we are still slumming it on social media with his shitty coffee mugs! <laughs> Just a reminder, you can buy our merch at www.innewcastletonight.com. <sighs> Resident VO artist Josephine Croft, I feel good. Good evening. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Um, uh, what's happening here? Well, that, don't worry about that, but that is a piano. Uh, what's it doing here? Well, I just thought we could be a bit like Stephen Colbert, John Baptiste, you could play some little trills after my jokes, add a bit of vibe to the show, you know? Yeah, yeah, no chance. Okay. Well, I just thought you might want to show off your skills, Joe, because tonight we have rock royalty in the studio. You're fucking kidding me. We've been chasing him and he's finally said yes. It is Daniel Johns, famous Novocastrian and silver chair legend via a live interview at the end of the episode. You are fucking kidding me! I am not kidding you! I don't know how our producers did it, but clearly they have their ways. Sorry, are you the Daniel Johns? No. <laughs> Thank you. You are fucking kidding me! <laughs> also tonight, we celebrate the universal experience we all face as humans. Our foibles, our hang-ups, our slow, shameful realisation that Justin Bieber is more than just an annoying musical ball sack. He has some real bangers in his back catalogue. Ooh, that sounds like a good Saturday night to me. <laughs> <laughs> you take breath. a moment. <laughs> you're picturing it, aren't you, Nick? Ooh, yes. But in the same breath, we all have different sides to ourselves, don't we? You know, like, what about you, mate? You know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. Sorry, who are you? Well, I'm you. Just with our pants. OK, and... You? I'm you. I'm just not wearing pants and eating an ice cream. Stop checking out his drumstick. No, I'm you. Just with an ego. Uh, well, you, you just look like me. Uh, exactly. I mean, why else would you write something this narcissistic, bro? <laughs> I think I'm getting the uh, hang of this piano thing now. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's hook in. Check out what the correspondents have in order for you. Enjoy the show! Woo! Woo! Firstly, welcome. And congratulations on taking your first steps to fixing your marriage. Thank you. Now, as you know, we're married to each other, <laughs> <laughs> and we practice relationship cleansing. We actually met in our second year of astrological rebirth classes. Third. What? Third? It was our third year. Does it really matter, Dale? I was speaking. Sorry. So what seems to be the problem? Not really a big deal, it's just that, um... It's a sexual thing. I'm having trouble maintaining an erection. Great openness. I can already see your aura starting to brighten. Yeah, and Simon, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to a lot of men. Oh, it happens to you as well? No, no, definitely not, no. But that's okay. Because oh, you're such a big man. What? Big man with a big hard penis. That's not what I was saying, Diane. Oh, because you're the god of masculinity. Maybe you could be a real man and put the crystals out in the moonlight like you said you It's could. been raining, Diane. The crystals can't soak up the energy of the full moonlight when it's been raining. Oh, sorry, did we did we get you at a bad time? No. No. You know, let's change things up a little. Okay, Simon, I want you to take a deep breath. Yes, Simon. Open your chakras to the healing energy of your inner light. Yeah. 
open up, just like Diane's purse at the Crystal Corner. The salt lamp was on sale, Dale, on sale. For $300, Diane, dollars. No more than you spend at Yoga Flow every month. Don't think I don't know about your Harry Krishna friend. I think maybe we should leave. Yeah, do it. Just like Diane did with her angel card coach last summer solstice. Do it again. Harder. Ah, you like that? Yeah, give it to me, you enlightened buddy. Oh, I want you. Take me. <laughs> These guys are amazing. <laughs> oh, that one hurt. Yep. I know that feeling of walking on something. I didn't get that. Yep, that, that hurt. <laughs> Ooh, the arch really hurts. <laughs> I've brought Melbourne correspondent Tilly Leg up to the beautiful Newcastle and Perry the Feeder Cafe to play a little game we like to call Minor Superpowers. That's right, Nick. Everyone's got one. Maybe you can locate the perfectly ripe avocado at Woolies. Maybe you know when to shave your chest hair. <laughs> That's the only manly thing I've got left. Today we're testing Newcastle's Minor Superpowers in a little game we like to call the Lego Walk. We've glued a random assortment of Lego pieces to a roll of carpet to simulate any parent's floor. Fucking genius. Why the blindfold? It's late, it's dark, and you are desperately in need of a midnight piddle. Yeah. So your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to walk across said carpet and try not to wince as those little Lego fuck knuckles get lost in your foot. All right, should we get into it? Let's go. Let's do it. Do you know Daniel Johns? No. No, great. Take it away, Sam. Oh, right on the pterodactyl. Take it away, pizza be damned. He's oh, he's missed it, he's gone, of course. Hold on, hold on, he's gone, of course. There was a couple little things that, that I definitely felt, you know, a square edge right into the ball of your foot, you feel it. Chairman of Newcastle Airport. Woo -hoo -hoo. I really like his style, though. It's cautious. He's moving them he's out of feeling. the way with his feet. His fe oh. <laughs> if that's not the move of a seasoned pro, I don't know what is. I think it was that bad boy that was stuck in your foot for at least 20 seconds. <laughs> yep, that, that hurt. Let's okay, let's get in the zone. Ooh, <laughs> ah, oh, some mid sprinkle. Ooh, the arch really hurts. Oh, he's taking the cow to the cow to the heel. Oh, fuck that one, did. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> no, I want to get more of those small bits. Yeah. So there you have it, Nick. All right, and back to me in the studio. Fuck. Rebecca and I'm going to help your life bloom like mine did just one week ago when I channeled my inner Orlando bloom. Now my life is so blooming fantastic I don't even blooming swear anymore. I'm that blooming zen. I mean have you even lived if you haven't stared lovingly at a cow before? No I don't mean the cow who stole your ex-boyfriend and then gave him chlamydia. Suck bloom David. I mean an actual cow. Let's take a look at my journey because I do like to post once daily to remind Mind you why I am superior. Orlando needs his eight hours of sleep and he wakes each morning to assess his readiness for the day thanks to his sleep tracker app. Even with two young children, what are the rest of us doing wrong? I like to chant 20 minutes a day. Orlando. Orlando has to earn his breakfast, so I'm having a super blooming green smoothie to trick my body into waking up before I give it real sustenance. It's got greens, brain oil, collagen, and some totally vegan protein. 
<laughs> then it's time to hike somewhere where no one can hear my tears. <laughs> like Orlando, 90% of the time I am totally vegan so that I can judge all of the Neanderthals. The reason that Orlando is 90% vegan is his secret cow fetish. So I went out to discover just how amazing cows really are. Hey, cow! <laughs> Now it's time to sit and dream about roles you'd like to play and get paid for it. But you also have to dream about the underrepresented and women getting roles too, because that's like totally PC. Isn't privilege fun? And now you're totally vegan again and just in time for lunch. Hmm, what to cook? Maybe a stew. It's okay because you have a team that does all that hard stuff for you. Mom! Now it's time to do some actual work. It's hard when you peak early in your career and are not accomplishing anything. So take a break and build some Lego. Then you've achieved something totally great today. Go you! Oh my God, Nick. This is amazing. The whole interview is going to be phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm just not sure about what I'm wearing. I mean, when you look at this, what do you feel? Let me tell you. I've gone with the leather because it's a throwback to grunge, you know, Nirvana and bands that were slightly better than those guys. And I thought, is this going to be too much? Am I trying too hard? But fashion goes in circles, so it's recycled and it's come back around. So maybe Daniel's going to look at me and be like, oh, that is really cool. I just don't want him to think I've overthought what I'm wearing. No, I think you've, you've nailed it, mate. It looks great. Looks great. Yeah, great. Oh, hey, I was doing some research yep. and supposedly we're not supposed to mention Natalie. No, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 please do not mention Natalie. That is not a thing that we want to go. Natalie and Rulia. I'm aware of Natalie, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, just... no, just don't go there, please. Okay. Oh, and Freak. Oh, I mean, if we're talking about tunes, Freak. It's their first big tune. It is the biggest tune they've ever released. It's absolutely my favourite. Oh. But as an interviewer, I don't want to go in and do the cliche thing of like, hey, let's talk about the first thing you did and nothing okay, past okay. that. Just, you know? just quickly, quickly. Not, not, not his first track, OK? The, the new album is Future Never. It's written there, Future Never. Just try it out. Future Never. Future Never. Hey, guys, uh, we've got that. him. So we're on a 10. Oh, oh 10, uh, OK. Yeah. Um, Nine. Uh, no, I don't eight, like the jacket. What are you doing? I don't know. Seven, Sit down. I don't know. Six, what are you doing? You, hold that. Okay. I'm not. Just stay calm. Okay. I'm not calm. We're on in five. You're sweating. Four, I am. Just don't touch me, please. Three, two. And now for the big moment we've been waiting for his transition from child musical prodigy right through rebellious rocker and into Australian rock royalty. Please welcome to In Newcastle tonight singer, songwriter, and Novocastrian, Daniel Johns. Hello, Daniel. Hi. Great to be with you both. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Uh, uh, hi, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we got you, Daniel. Um, thank you for making the time. Oh, mm. oh, oh, no problems at all. I didn't realise you were into Nigerian music. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, big time. Y yep. We are. Big time. Mm -hmm. We are. And probably more so me, I'd say. Well, you know, in college, they didn't call me white chocolate for nothing, you know? <laughs> OK, well, I actually eat chocolate all the time, which is... I don't think that relates. Yeah, no, it doesn't. But uh, I listen to hip hop and yeah. um, reggaeton. Reggaeton, yeah. yeah. I, I enjoy reggaeton, that too. My that? dad was a reggae fan and creator of sorts. Uh, OK. Not sure. okay. Just not sure. great not sure. to have you. To listen to a bit of N-rap. I can't wait, that's what I call it. Oh, you can't say, oh, Nigerian. Yes. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Why, why can't you hear me? Yeah, yeah. On fire? Uh, no, I don't know. No, I just don't know if you noticed that Liam's been a little bit sexual with me recently. Um, in a good way? No, way? in a way that I think he thinks that I've invited him up here for a booty call. 
I mean, that's because you're reasonable or something. You're There's my boy. Oh, hey. I got you. Hi. I got you. I've yeah. uh, just been laughing to myself about when we were on stage and we were like laughing and flirting a little bit. Well, oh. What I was wearing in my jacket and stuff. I, mm. Hey, another new game. Uh, uh, guess what kind of underpants I'm wearing. Leather. Oh, uh, big sensible ones. Silky? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, is this a game of None. Effort? The answer is none. Oh. Um, I might go get us water. It's hot. Water. It, it is, is hot. hot, but not like that. Come on, let's go get a drink. It's there. no use staying here, mate. I can get them. Okay, no, okay, come I'll on. No, you, you can come back here, please. That I can go. Wrap drinks. Wrap drinks. No, no, no. Oh. We should just stay. Right. I think we. This is. Sorry, it's tight mate. through this here. Tight. Backstage. Please let me go oh, for yes. a second. What's up? Uh, I mean, you know, he's like married with kids. Very monogamous, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's like watching him squirm. Yeah. He's very awkward. So adorable, though. Mm. Really fun. Cutie. Yeah. I bet we could get him again. Yeah, come on. Yeah. 